If you guys don't know what I do, I clean grocery stores, so the grocery stores close, I come in, clean it all up, it's good to go for the next day. That's what my job is. Now, I came to the realization, my job, my job is immoral. I, in a way, play God. I know, I know, it sounds crazy, it sounds crazy, but let me break it down for you. The grocery store, food, you know, snacks, drinks, tons of yummy stuff that not only people like, but also bugs. Even or not, there's a lot of bugs in grocery stores, let me tell you. When the grocery stores open, it is just, it is heaven for bugs. They're, they're in the fruits, they're in the washrooms, toilets, in the sinks. The bugs are everywhere. I've gone to three different stores, and all three stores have a different ecosystem of bugs. Potato bugs loved Binbrook. Binbrook and potato bugs, they just meshed, man. Every time I went in Binbrook, I was sweeping with the floors, I see potato bugs everywhere. Tons of them. St. Catherine, they had ants. They loved ants. And I came across one bug. It's actually on my Instagram if you want to check it out. I have no idea what the thing was. It was, it was weird looking, man. It was really weird looking. So weird that I took a video of it. Put the thing on Instagram, so feel free to check that out. My Instagram will be in the channel banner. So, yeah, they had ants, man. They had tons of ants. It was really bad. Uh, and flies. Tons of flies. And one time I actually got bit by, by a fly. I don't know if it was a black fly or some type of flying bug. Something literally bit my arm. I, I know what you guys are saying. Wait, what, how is it immoral? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Okay. Last but not least, Rymel, right? Rymel's what I didn't cover. What does Rymel have? What did Rymel have? Those silver fish bugs. Those things with the with the tail. Those all oh, those gross little bugs. Rymel had them. Anyways, so all these bugs, right? And those are just the they're the ma majority. There's lots of minorities in in these ecosystems. Wow, they're in paradise. There's no better place for them to be. There's all this food. There's rotten food in the back. There's fresh food in the store. There's food up in the lunch rooms and then you know, the store closes store closes people leave the employees leave they lock up and for a brief moment bugs have absolutely no worries no pain no suffering eating intercourse producing babies just enjoying life and i get that. get to the grocery store i unlock the door I type in the code, set off the alarm, to turn off the alarm. And then I begin cleaning. Preparing the store for people to come the next day. Now what these bugs don't realize is they are in a load of trouble. They are in immense danger. But whether I like it or not, I'm going to kill a lot of these bugs. I'm going to slaughter hundreds, if not thousands of bugs every night I go to work. It's immoral. I'm in this store. First thing I do is is I'm, I'm cleaning the washrooms. I clean the washrooms. I clean the lunchroom. So I'm in the washroom. I remember this time distinctly. I'm in the washroom. It seems there's one woman's washroom at Rymel always has at least one fly. One fly in there. Almost like a mixture between a moth and a fruit fly. It's a fly. I don't know. Anyways, they're always in there. And they love the toilet. So I got to work. You know, I got to clean this toilet. And the fly is inside the toilet. He's sitting in the the cup of the toilet. There's the water that's collected. And then there's the cup. And he's sitting on the side in the cup. Okay? I don't know. The bowl. The toilet bowl. Whatever you want to call it. Sitting on the side. Just chilling. Just enjoying paradise. I gotta flush this toilet. Okay? I don't want to kill him, but I gotta flush the toilet. I'm not gonna stick my hand in the toilet and wave him to come out or anything. I, I said, you know, I looked at him. I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some time, but you need to get out of this. Toilet. I'm gonna give you a chance to survive. I'm gonna give you that opportunity, but you need to get your ass out. I turned away. At first, I swept up the whole washroom. And then, and then I go to the counter and I'm cleaning the counter, clean it. And I'm just thinking like, I hope, I hope this fly left. I'm wiping down the sink. 
It's getting st scary now. There isn't too much left to do, man. I checked the soap dispenser. There's enough soap. I checked the, the paper towels. There's enough paper towels. There's nothing left to do in this washroom but tend to this dirty toilet. So I turn around. I look in the toilet bowl. Fly's gone. The fly is gone. He made it. I did the right thing by waiting. I gave him a chance at survival. He took advantage. Everyone's happy, right? No. The thing was, as you guys know with toilet bowls, there's a little lip. You have the bowl. Right? Here's the inside of the bowl. And there's a little lip that comes out on the outsides. There's a lip where the, where the seat that goes up and down sits on. That lip, okay? It doesn't allow you to see the entire toilet bowl. This freaking fly climbed up the toilet bowl. I don't know if he was trying to leave or just get to a new area, but he was inside at the bottom of the lip, and I can't see him. I thought he was gone. I flushed that toilet and immediately see the whirlpool, and the flies flies in there, and it's game over for him. It, it's the end. I made that decision. I played God. I ended that fly's life. This is, we're in fall right now. Okay, we're in fall. It seems to me that the wasps take refuge in grocery stores for the winter. They try to. And I'm pretty sure they build nests up in the ceilings. I think they do. Anyways. I was sweeping. Sweeping the floor. And oh, there's a potato bug. Sweep it up. Because I can't stop. I can't go around the potato bug. Bug. I gotta get the whole floor. So I sweep up countless potato bugs. I turn a corner and all of a sudden I see a wasp. But the thing is, I didn't have enough time to react. I was so close to the wasp that the wasp was gonna start flying. So what did I do? I have to save myself. So I swept up the wasp. And now I don't want to stop sweeping because I don't want the wasp to get out and sting me. I'm, a sc I'm scared of wasps. I can tell. So I'm just walking around with the broom, I don't want to stop. Okay, turn left, keep going, turn right, keep going. And I don't want to stop. I'm like, I'm hoping the wasp dies. One time I was like trying to crush the wasp with the broom. Because I don't, I don't want to get stung. I'm sorry, I don't want to get stung. And then, you know, the wasp is still alive. And it's like, I've just tortured this wasp and these potato bugs. And it's just not right. I don't, I don't I don't know how else to put it and then the worst part is I, I I let off and see that the wasp is still alive and I start sweeping again because I don't want this thing to get up and sting me but then you know what as time passed I realized there was a lot of wasps that I would find on the ground it started in Binbrook but then it came to the other stores as well and I don't know if they're like getting drunk if they're near death and they're leaving the the nest and going on the ground. I don't know, but what I will say is these wasps never start flying. They let you sweep them up every time. I don't know what it was. I don't know why. If you guys know, let me know, because I have no idea these wasps wouldn't move. They would just sit there, and I would sweep them. They would walk. When I, if I let off them, they would try to walk around or something, but they wouldn't fly. If you guys know potato bugs, potato bugs, for the most part, don't have to die all the time, but the problem is, you might be able to survive the broom. It, it, it's almost better if you get swept up, because if you get swept up, then I'm going to take you to the back room, throw you in a garbage can, then you can live your life in there. But if you don't, you're a potato bug in Binbrook Freshco. You don't get swept up. I take a washer, okay? This washer has really rough, like, sandpapery pads on the bottom. These pads spin in opposite directions. And as they spin, they spray out warm water. And then, behind them, I have a vacuum that's sucking up water. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving this thing around the store. You have to cover every inch. You have to cover every spot in the store, so these bugs stand no chance. Okay? I'm going, and first they get browned up by the, the pads. Pads are spinning opposite directions, grinding these bugs up. And then, and then they're getting water sprayed all over them. And you know bugs don't like water. They never liked water. And then, to make it all worse, if they survive that, 
They get sucked up into a vacuum of water. The water is being sucked up with them and they're like drowning. And they get sucked up into the beast. Into the belly of the freaking beast. And they're in dirty ass water. Well, they probably like that spit. But they're in water. Drowning and dying in darkness inside my machine. You know how many potato bugs I probably sucked up into that machine? You know how many ants I probably sucked up? You thought it was Carnage and Forza? You, th you thought Forza was bad? Nobody dies in Forza. Nobody dies. Everyone gets to go home to their families. In fact, to make it even better, they're already home. They're in their bedrooms. All they gotta do is turn off the game. Go say hi to the family. Those potato bugs, those flies, and those, all the bugs, all of them, they ain't get no family. They ain't Catherine's fresh cook. And you know, you know, they got in. So I'm in the lunchroom, and, and this is a, this is a daily. People leave some food on the ground. It happens. I don't blame them. You know, the ants, the ants take refuge on the food. And I don't blame them either. They're in complete paradise. The door's been closed. They're just eating away, eating all the food. No worries in the world. And I come in there with my broom. I gotta get under the lunch table. So I start sweeping up these ants. And you just, you see them collecting. You, you, you sweep everything into one spot. That's how everyone sweeps. And next thing you know, I got 15 ants in this one spot, and all they wanted to do was snack on, you know, some crackers that were on the ground. Now, you know, I'm sweeping them up, and I'm taking away from the, I'm taking them away from their homies, because some of their homies survive, you know. Maybe they're in the crevice, like in the crack of the wall. Maybe I just miss them. I just separate them all, you know, and it's, it's rough. It, it sucks. I sweep them out into the hallway, and I sweep them down the hallway, down the stairs, and then put them in a garbage can. I mean, for the most part, they don't die. Ants are pretty strong, luckily. So that's that's a good. But I mean, I, I guess I guess that wraps it up, guys. I mean, let me know. Do you think my job is too immoral to continue? Is it not a big deal that I kill hundreds and hundreds of bugs every night at work? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed the video. As you saw, I got a little drifted in there with the WRX. Uh, I started doing that every time I got into the lead. I would just drift a little. It's so fun drifting with all-wheel drive cars. Remember, nobody loves a subject, Mac V. If you enjoyed story time, let me know in the comments section, and I'll do more videos like this. I thought this would be a cool video. You guys can get a little bit of my personality and a little bit of gameplay all mixed into one rather than just gameplay or just a vlog, whatever it may be. Take it easy, guys. If no one loves a subject, Mac V, I'm out.